Now, it's a general question among the students that how to recognize whether the species will undergo chemical bonding or physical bonding. For that, let us come to a illustration. Like, if I ask a question that between two HCl molecule, the force will be whether chemical or it will be physical. Or if I ask between two hydrogen atom, whether the bond will be chemical bond or physical bond. So, student, make it clear that whenever two molecules are involved in bonding, then in that case, the force or the bond will be always physical in nature. Whereas, in case of species in the atomic state, like here we have got hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom. So, both these atoms are in atomic state. So, we shall be calling the bond to be chemical bond. But in the first case, we are finding the two bonding species are HCl, which are basically molecules. They are not in the atomic state, so they will undergo physical bonding. So, in case of HCl, we shall be having physical bonding, whereas in case of H, we shall be having chemical bonding. Now, if I ask that what shall be the nature of bonding between helium and helium. So, as illustrated above, that in case of species in their atomic state, the resultant bond will be chemical bond, whereas when the species are in their molecular state, that is other than the atomic state, we call the bond to be physical bond. Here again, these two helium atoms are in their atomic state, but strength, helium is an inert gas which has got stable configuration. So, although these two atoms are in their atomic state, but due to their stable configuration, they will undergo physical bonding. So, we can conclude here now that in case of two molecules, the bonding will be physical. In case of two species in the atomic state, the bonding will be chemical. And in case of two atoms, and if they are inert gases, then again the bond will be physical. Reason will be the inert gases, that is the 18th group element have got inert gas configuration, that is stable configuration. So, they do not undergo any kind of electronic involvement during bonding. Now, moving ahead, if we discuss that what shall be the nature of bonding between neon and neon atom. So, again, here both of the neon atoms are in their atomic state, but again, neon belongs to inert gas family, that is zero group, where the elements have got inert gas. So, similar to the helium, it will also have possess physical bonding. So, if the two species are in their molecular state, they will undergo physical bonding. If they are in their atomic state, they will undergo chemical bonding. And if the two species are although in their atomic state, and if they are inert gases, then due to stable configuration, then they will undergo physical bonding. So, we can conclude that in case of molecule versus molecule, the bond will be physical in nature. Atom versus atom, again it will be chemical atom that is inert gas versus another atom that is inert gas, the bond shall be physical. So, when the two bonding species are molecular, then the bond will be physical. If they are in their atomic state, the bond will be chemical and if they are in the atomic state, but if they are inert gases, then again in that case we shall be having a physical bonding. Now, let us take some questions on it. We have to classify the following on the basis of the nature of bonding. That is, whether they will undergo physical bonding or chemical bonding. So, very first is helium and HCl hydrochloric acid. Second, we have got H2 dihydrogen and HF that is hydrogen fluoride. Next, we have got Na and O that is sodium and oxygen. Next, we have got potassium and chlorine, magnesium and magnesium, neon and neon, argon and helium, ammonia and water, chlorine and chlorine and ammonia and ammonia. So, you have to try these questions and we shall be dealing these questions in the next topic.